early again, it's 7 o'clock as usual, and I'm heading out of there, I'm going to go do some fishing today. I just want to catch some fish for you, <laughs> I'm not very good at it am I? I used to be, I used to catch a lot of fish, but I don't know, lately I just struggle to catch anything half decent. But yeah, yesterday was a rest day, as you can imagine my legs were absolutely stuffed after doing the Kosciuszko hike. 22 kilometers, <laughs> it's a long way. So yeah, yesterday I spent pretty much in the swag most of the day, and plus it was windy as yeah, it was blowing a gale, so there was no point trying to fly fish in that. So yeah, today's looking nice actually, it's a beautiful clear blue sky, a blue morning. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go try a few little creeks and see if I can catch us a fish. Alright, so yep, start of another day. Alright, so this is good. Now I've just realised I've lost this thing. <laughs> That's off the roof rack. That's fallen off somewhere as well. <laughs> so I'm guessing Ford will probably charge me $300 for a new one. But um, I just noticed it. Probably fell off when the light bar fell off. Right, that's just another thing. As long as it's nothing mechanical, <laughs> I'm not that fussed, but oh, just one thing after another. Okay, I'm going to take a go for about an hour or so and as you can probably hear the wind has just picked up again and it's getting really hard to land the fly on the water because <laughs> it's pretty skinny water and the wind is just uh, picking up a fly line and <laughs> wherever it goes. So yeah, I'm going to try somewhere else. I've got two little ones but once again I don't think the GoPro recorded it, I think I turned it off. So, I don't, I don't know, just going to keep trying. Okay, okay, so this is the Threadgoe River. I've got to climb all the way down here. Let's hope I can get back up. This is going to be fun. Yeah, all right, eh? that was good. I just bush bashed all the way down here to the river, down the side of a mountain. And I can't get past this part, it's too deep. And I'm not walking around through all that bush, I just cannot be bothered. So I got all this like 200 meter stretch, it's just way deep, it's over my head deep. So this is, that was a complete waste of time. <laughs> uh, Alright, that's another waste of an opportunity. Anyway, back up the cliff. I absolutely hate this bush bashing. Your rod gets stuck on every single branch. It's impossible to walk through it with a 10 foot fly or 9 foot fly rod. I hate this. Oh my god. Nearly to the car. Oh, this is the worst bit. Oh god. Oh. One step up, two steps back. There's the car. Oh my god. Uh oh. Don't fall down the hill now. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. Okay, so <laughs> back on the road again. I decided to head off from Fredbow around that way because I'm getting sick to death of paying almost $20 every time I go into the National Park <laughs> and the fishing hasn't been great for me. So yeah, I've just decided I'm going to go over here towards Tom Grogan now and stay at Cancoban the night. 
once again charge up all my stuff because the hema's not charging for some reason i don't know why plugged it into three different things and it didn't work so yeah that's another thing i've got to figure out uh, yeah so stay at cancoven get all my stuff charged up and then from there i can uh head back to Tom Grog and then do maybe Davey's plane on Mount Pinabar or something like that. So yeah, still got plenty of time. So I'm just, you know, cruising along, taking my time. And it's just every day's a new adventure. <laughs> Okay, so I made it up here to the top of Mount Pinabar. That was fun. It's a pretty good four wheel drive track. It's a bit rocky, rough in places. But yeah, made it through here. 
So just to give you an idea of time if you want to come up here, I left Cancoven at 7.30 this morning. I've stopped a fair bit, you know, to do the filming and drone system and stuff like that. And of course down at Tom Groggan, you know, I had to wait a little while, but it's now just after 12.30. So it does take a good, you know, four hours at least, like, if you don't stop. <laughs> so it's a good trip, but, uh, yeah, a bit rough in places. But it's been fun, i got to say that. It's a beautiful view from up here. So now it's time to head off and find somewhere to camp for the night. Hopefully catch a fish. <laughs> I don't like my chances, so I don't know. I can't catch anything bigger than my thumb for some reason. But I'll keep trying. So, alrighty, yep, Mount Pinabar. Take, tick this one off the list. Beautiful up here. Pretty spectacular. Righto. Just got to get out of here alive. Tell you what, it's a bit scary when you're on your own. You know, I, I expected to see heaps of cars up here, but I haven't seen anyone. So, yeah, you know. <laughs> oh well, I do these things, don't I? Righto, hey, right. Alright, I knew that would happen. <laughs> 